Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the 358 modifieds here at Knoxville We didn't get a practice time in because my game didn't want to load at all so I had to like Couldn't like just completely close it and reopen it. So we got in here just now So it looks like the times are in the fours. Let's see what kind of track condition we have and everything Because on a very good track condition. I ran a one somehow I, I was able to get down to the ones so Track condition doesn't look bad, so I'm hoping that I can do the same. A lot of letting off uh, in these cars, though. Like, I'm trying to learn to keep these cars straight and actually go faster. I'm gonna run the high side in one and two on the first lap. Might run a little bit higher in the second lap, but I'm gonna run the bottom in three and four. I like the bottom in three and four a lot, just being able to roll it. Got a little sideways there. I did not like that. Hopefully we have a decent time still. We're in a 7. That's not any good. That's not good at all. Hopefully we can improve on this lap. I was able to run pretty well in practices and I felt really confident going into this race. I'm disappointed I wasn't able to do any practice to see the... Like the kind of wear on the track but we are starting in ninth currently that is not a good qualifying spot especially for a race with no cautions so we're gonna have to try to work our way up through the field which i feel like we can as we get used to the track condition but there's still a couple people left to qualify so i'll pick it up when we're getting ready to go green all right so we're qualified back in 10th at least we're on a little bit higher side i feel like that would help us out going into turn one at least so let's see how this up, goes there you go Jim. I recognize a decent amount of people in this race, so it should be a pretty good race overall, I feel like. Hopefully there's not any bad wrecks back here to slow us down. Hopefully we could gain some positions in this race, because you can definitely mess up in these cars here, which is a lot of fun. Even though they don't got much horsepower, you still have to try to keep the car as straight as possible. And you could, you could definitely be a lot slower being sideways. But like I said, I've done a lot of practice here this okay, week. I don't know if I had zero I've done a lot of practice here this week trying to get ready for this. What the fuck? Thir 13, go. What are you doing? Hey, can you back up behind me? Thank you. Holy shit. Apparently. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, we got a 2x to start the race. That's a lot of fun. I feel like their car shouldn't be that bad at turn right at this level of speed. It is annoying to drive these cars at low speed, so... That was uh, a pain in the ass there. Don't know what the hell the 13 was doing. I don't know if he still stopped or what happened. I don't know if he's coming or what. But I just hope I don't get a black flag if he is coming up here. Before the start of this, that's going to be annoying. I feel like there shouldn't be two laps before we go green on a track mistake. Yeah, but I'm kind of happy there is with the situation that happened with me. <laughs> are there cautions or is this straight 30? Just straight 30. Straight. It's straight 30. Hopefully, we don't have anything that happened like that to us in the uh, race. Had a pretty decent start there. I'm happy about that. Just gotta try to keep the car straight and go forward. The way to pass is definitely gonna be on the outside. Got to the outside of the seven, so that's good. Had to throw it sideways because the seven was coming up. We're already almost about in fifth, so that's a great start. Pretty much we started in eighth. Since the, yep, he fell through internet connection. That's probably what was going on with him. That was the 13 car. I just remembered it was a weird name at the end with the A. So somehow we got all the way up to fifth that quick. That's amazing. I want this line in three and four to keep going up because I'm going to be able to run the bottom sooner or later in three and four. I like the bottom in three and four a ton.
trying to watch these guys in case the 9 threw a slider there. I didn't know if uh, the 8 was going to get into him or what. Feel a little quicker than these two in front of me. Let's see if we could run the bottom here. I think the outside just ha is a little too low for me to be able to run down there, but we'll see. Like, the outside isn't high enough, really, for me to run down here. Especially in 1 and 2. I don't like the bottom in 1 and 2. The outside needs to go up some more <laughs> to be able to really grip down there a lot better. Then the outside comes off the corner. But starting in the back of these races is tough because it, it is very hard to gain some spots. Two went way high. Gonna be on the inside of him. Well, that's unfortunate because the seven's probably gonna get by us coming off the two. Unless I could like, really grip down here. There's not much grip to have though. Three and four is definitely more grip, but not much. Had to try to squeeze up there. Just enough room for a car. Because getting stuck under somebody really sucks in these cars. At this track, at least. But once we start moving further and further up the track towards the end of this, might be able to run a little lower, which would be great. See if we can try to get back by some of these cars though. We really have to either get a great run to throw a slider, but everybody's like right on top of each other right now, or get to their outside to where they have to run the bottom. It's hard to get to the outside when you're already running pretty high. Decent run through that corner. Two's really trying to get to the outside there. He's trying hard. Just able to like stick my nose out here, but not quite enough to stay there. This is a uh, real tough racing right here. <laughs> real tight. Oh, where did the seven go? The eight just net coated the hell out of him. The seven just got shot from the eight. That was a bad net code error. So we're back to sixth. Not awful. At least we're car number three in this. So we're not like car number one like normal. A couple higher I rating guys in here, which is nice. Like having races where I'm a lower car number. Trying to keep the car as straight as possible. Not run into the back of him like that. Bottom three and four is getting some grip back because the outside's getting really high. Trying to stay off the 12 and the 8 at the same time, like not go too far up or too far down. The last race I did, which was the uh, Street Stocks, had a great race like this, except it was for the lead instead of like 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and back. It's like you could throw a slider like that, but the two lost so much momentum, we were able to get to the outside of the 8, which is amazing. He's going to throw a slider, we should be able to cut under him. Not quite as much as I wanted to. God, that's so tough to pass on the bottom. Unless you like get a really clear line for a slider. Okay, we gotta work our way back up to them, because I definitely feel a little quicker than the eight and nine. I probably have about as the same same amount of speed as the two. Oh, I just ran over his bumper. Did not know that was a thing. Holy shit. 
I have never experienced that in these cars. That was unfortunate. Sorry, Matt. I really did not know that was a thing in these cars. I've never done that. Ten car got way too high there. Able to get up in front of him, but I slid a little too far there. He's not going to quite throw a slider on me. I thought he was. I was ready to try to undercut it, but he didn't quite throw it. Now he's trying to come up, and there's not room for that, my dude. And we got hit by the 7. That's great. Thanks, 10. Good job. That's so unfortunate. Starting in the back is tough in these cars, because things like that happen. I, the thing with the 8, though, that was real weird, how it shot me up in the air. I've never had that happen in these cars at all. Starting in the back, not a great move. I wish my game would have fucking loaded. So I could have gotten a couple practice laps in to know what the track condition was like going into qualifying. Because that hurt a lot, not being able to practice. But yeah, the line's high enough now, you could probably run the lower side and get some time on people. I don't know how damaged my car is, like speed-wise. I don't know if it's really that hurt or not. It sounds weird to me. I'm not sure if that's just because I'm away from other cars, but it sounds like off. The car definitely sounds off. Yeah, the 7 was just- the 7 got screwed so much this race from the 8 car net coating the hell out of him. And then the 10 getting into the side of me and the 7 had nowhere to go into the- into the side of me. Like, he got absolutely screwed this race. That's so unfortunate for him. That's just a tough race overall. Definitely going to lose a decent amount of eye rate in this race, because I think there was only like, what, 11, 12 people in the race? Something like that. And we're going to finish back in ninth. Hopefully somebody else wrecks. That would be great, so we can gain some spots out of it. Everybody's pretty much on top of each other up there, so I wouldn't be surprised. So that's why I like uh, Knoxville. Knoxville's a very fun place to race in like every car. No clue what he just said. I, he was either too soft or didn't say anything and just accidentally hit the button. Yeah, my car definitely feels off. I am kind of catching the 10 car up there, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time to catch him really. Like to really catch him and pass him. It looks like he's throwing like just slider lines for no damn reason. Maybe he's practicing because he doesn't know how to. Because <laughs> I was clearly on the outside of him still when he was still trying to come up the track. It just made no sense at all. That's just really unfortunate. I want to go back and see how close I was to the 8 because I did not think I was close enough for my tire to hit him. But also at the same time, my car just shot up in the air, which was very unfortunate. Definitely don't want to be up on that curve too much. That will fuck you up in the corner real bad. Definitely had some speed down there towards the end, which is what I was hoping for. I just wasn't close enough to anybody for to make anything happen. Oh, that guy's wrecked, but that's also a lap car, so rip him. Holy shit. Rip the four car. You got a lap before? <laughs> wow, that was hard. I want to go back and see that finish, because they were very close there. That was pretty insane. Oh, God, that was a yeah. fucking... Hellgate of a race. Good race. So where the hell was that with the 10 and I? Cause like, if he would have just thrown a slider there, would have been fine. But he didn't. He didn't fully come up. I was able to stay on his outside and get a run. Seven ran to the back of him. His car kind of bounced up like like mine did to the eight. And then here, I'm still on his outside, and he just never. That was some net code as well. That's so unfortunate. Uh, not really. He actually got into the side of me, so. That sucks a lot, and then the 7 just has absolutely nowhere to go, because you're in a slide, you're not going to be able to correct it that fast. That's just unfortunate altogether. He kind of saved me from, uh, spinning all the way around. But I want to see what happened between me and the 8 car. How far did Ty get up there? He got, like, a second and a half ahead from the rest of the field. So 
besides the first two. Oh, I thought he was going to get back into the two there. I did not uh, see that when I was racing. That was close as hell. I want to see what the hell happened, though, with my car. Because, like, he had a good run. Everything's good. I think it was, like, this upcoming lap. What the hell happened there? Because I had, like, a huge run on him. I think it was his next lap coming off a of two or something. I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, I had a good run here. I was just going to stay right behind him, and there's some net code, the slightest bit. I was just off his bumper, but I've never seen that happen where my tire bounces up in the air from tapping somebody. That screwed me so far up. I'm just happy at least I stayed in the wall and didn't uh, hit anybody else. All right, what happened with the first two? Because apparently there was like a freaking finish that was crazy. What the hell happened here? They are side by side, throwing sliders on each other. That was a good uh, crossover. That was very close to being a bad wreck. This is lap 29 of 30. One goes all the way to the bottom. Tries to keep it down there for the most part. Doesn't completely throw a slider. Six gets a huge run on him. Holy shit. That was a huge run. Six just throws a very close slider. Like, if you're going to throw the slider, don't be that close. Go a little lower and make the slider work without hitting them. That's just uh, kind of messed up, but the six gets a decent run off of it because of that. The one goes all the way down, actually throws the slider correctly. Holy shit. What the hell? Where did the four come? This is, okay, what the hell happened with the four? Oh, the seven just completely wrecked the four. That, the, the seven should be protested there. That's fucked up. What the hell happened between them, though? Because I was wondering why the 4 was upside down. I had no clue what the hell happened. But the 7 should be protested after that. That's fucked up. 4 kind of come... Like, just stays low off the corner. But he's kind of sideways. It's just like a racing incident to me. But the 7 goes low as hell. And just comes all the way back up. Slams him. Jesus Christ. No wonder why it was such a crazy finish. He got tapped. 6 runs into him. 6 goes flying. <laughs> Wow, what a crazy finish. Wow. <laughs> so the one won it just by the slightest bit right there. The six went for a fucking ride. That was crazy. Like, what was... I want to see the in-car of that. That was absolutely hilarious, but kind of crazy and hectic. But he got hit, hits the curb, just stays in the gas, which probably wasn't the best idea. And then one beats him out at the last second. That is fucking crazy. That was hilarious. That was the most wacky finish I have ever seen for the end of a race because of a lap car. His lap car taps him, they hit, he goes way off, goes flying. <laughs> that was hilarious. But the one car I felt like left most laps, it looked like to me, so. That was interesting, that was a crazy ass finish. I was hoping none of that happened to us, but uh, nobody else wrecked in front of us, so we ended up finishing ninth, which is unfortunate. And we ended up with 4x because the 3 completely stopped in the beginning, never even started the race, so that was very unfortunate. I don't really care about my safety as much, but the I rating is going to definitely suck to lose because we were car number 3 out of 14, finishing 9th, probably going to lose like 50-60 I rating, which is unfortunate. So let's go see how much we end up losing. All right, results are in. The one car led all laps but one, so yeah, he was definitely the fastest on there. That was just a crazy finish between them. Ty went all the way up to not to... From ninth to third, which that's that's a great run. I wish I could have been up there. If I wouldn't have gotten to the back of the eight, I think I could have because I thought I was a little bit faster than the eight and the nine. So that was just very unfortunate. Then I got caught in the back and then just all mayhem broke loose. So that was unfortunate. Lost 48. Thought I was going to lose over 50. So kind of okay with that. I'm at least above 3,600 still. Ties over 41, almost 4,200. Damn. Number one guy is almost 5,500. That's a pretty good strength of field. 2,500 altogether. What was the lowest I rating? 1,800. He was almost 19, but then he didn't even race. So pretty decent strength of field overall. Uh, I feel like I could have finished fourth, maybe had a good battle with Ty if I could have gotten by the eight and the nine, if I wasn't stuck on the bottom at some point when uh, I think the I think Ty went high and I had a great run on him and I just went low to stay under him. Then the seven got on the outside of me and then I think the 12 almost did. And then just everything that happened with the eight sucked for me. 
I don't know what kind of weird thing that was with the tire, though. I wish it wasn't the slightest bit of Netco, but the 8 seemed like he had a decent amount of Netco because he sent the 7 flying in one corner, which is crazy. So, pretty good race overall. Wish the outcome was a little different, but it is what it is. I did a decent amount of practice here, and I felt pretty solid going in. Wish my game would have loaded in as well, so I could have gotten some practice in to know what the track state was like, but that's all right. Starting out back is tough. Better to know now than later, I guess. So don't try to start in the back if you can help it. So appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race anyways and learned a little bit, even though my car was kind of messed up towards the end when I could run the bottom. You can definitely run the bottom towards the end, but appreciate you guys for watching once again. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more racing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.